that uh, basically uh, if you we should use only double arm in all the uh, all the anastomosis uh, you have to discard the suture after after taking the bite uh, you cannot compromise because the life or the limb of the patient may depend on this one anastomosis so you cannot be miser uh, or you cannot save suture by doing the uh, arterial anastomosis and basically if you are doing single arm then you come outside in in the inflow and inside out on the outflow because uh, as you come from the outside in there can be intimal and the intima can uh, intimal flap can rise and with the shearing force of the blood uh, this can raise a flap that uh, that you understand if there's a uh, intimal flap is raised on the inflow vessel it can maximum it can progress up to the cut end that will be hardly 2 3 mm and in in the outflow vessel as we are going uh, inside out the intimal flap intimal flap cannot be uh, there there cannot be any intimal dissection so you are safe in that way hello everyone welcome to the vascular anastomosis course so in this course we will show how to do the arterial and venous anastomosis and that will be demonstration on the ptf graft followed by cadaveric artery and veins so in this first video we are discussing briefly the theoretical part and the practical demonstration about the interrupted arterial technique please read the detailed disclaimer in description and these videos are meant for education and information only and these are not a substitute for professional training or a professional advice for exclusive and early access to our premium high definition content you can download our app available for android and ios or you can join the premium membership the link for everything is given in description and the pinned comments of this video so friends vascular anastomosis it's a life saving technique must to have in the armamentarium of, of every surgeon every trainee general surgeon trauma surgeon gi surgeon and of course transfer surgeon has to master it so uh, basically our aim is to uh, give a insight to our trainees and budding surgeons who may not be doing these kind of anastomosis on a so regular basis and if you are already a pro then these videos are not meant for you situations like trauma there can be uh, injury to the femoral artery femoral vein or upper arm injury you may be dealing with the sma smb while doing the pancreatic adenectomy or during the thrombosis uh, during the transplant uh, transplant reconstruction of course so we often require immediate vascular repair which can be life saving in these kind of situation basically there are two type of techniques for doing the arterial anastomosis one is interrupted suture technique and another is continuous suture reconstruction uh, which can be under the magnifying loops or the microscope and we will show all these techniques in subsequent uh, videos of this series this is one good interesting paper uh, which all of you can read free to download the arterial anastomosis in uh, live donor liver transplant technique and risk by stefano di uh, sandro so the context is that hepatic artery reconstruction is one of the most technically complex step during the ldlt and early arterial thrombosis has a mortality up to 50% that often requires a retransplantation so they have discussed about the interrupted sutures with loops continuous suture with loops and continuous suture with the microscope on the online version of this uh, paper there are small videos also attached so viewers can watch the, those videos also so the authors have concluded that there is no clear superiority of one technique over another in terms of thrombosis rate and microscope add precision but increase operative time without lowering thrombosis compared to loops further authors concluded that if the surgeon is experienced then the thrombosis rate can be less than 1% irrespective of the technique whether you are doing interrupted technique and why we are uh, recommending interrupted technique is because it is easy to follow simple safe and versatile and we are also discussing the same technique on a ptf graft in this video again viewers can go through this good paper by Yon Sheng Jiang uh, basically it is uh, comparison of continuous versus interrupted suture for hepatic artery reconstruction using loop in a living donor liver transplant 
so in this paper they have uh, discussed what the 43 ldlt uh, using uh, 3.5x loops so uh, the finding were that continuous suture group had shorter operative time there was no difference between the hepatic artery thrombosis in either of the uh, arm but that is continuous versus uh, interrupted and longer operative time in the continuous technique uh, sorry in the uh, interrupted technique and interrupted sutures were preferred if there was an intimal dissection or the poor vessel quality. The conclusion was that interrupted suture remains preferred when the vessel quality is poor and the continuous suturing is uh, safe and faster and effective when done under magnification. So if we see the uh, conclusion and study the finding of both the papers, so the message is, is that continuous suture reduce time but show no severity in thrombosis rate compared to the interrupter technique and uh, interrupter sutures preferred when intimal dissection or poor vessel quality is present. And if I, I would have been the author, I would add if somebody is doing it first time or if he's not doing it frequently, then also the interrupter technique is better. And the interrupter sutures are simple, versatile, ever error correcting, still widely used both in transplant and trauma setting. So with this brief uh, theoretical background, so you can adopt either of the technique. My recommendation is you start with the interrupter and uh, then you can switch over to the other techniques if you are uh, comfortable or if you gain mastery over time. So what are the brief step, the step by step technique will be First will be preparation. First prepare the arterial ends. Ensure a clean cut. Be the, cut it cleanly. There should not be any ragged edges. And flush the uh, artery to be anastomose with the heparinized saline. Also clear the end of the artery to be anastomose 3 to 4 mm of the, all the adventitia because it is highly thrombogenic. And we will also showcase uh, and demonstrate during the cadaveric uh, demo. In the beginning part, always take two sutures, one at 6 o'clock of the artery, another at 12 o'clock and uh, don't tie them, uh, basically hold them with the help of uh, these rubber shorts and they also help to align the artery. You can take the uh, sutures at acute distance and specifically if you are dealing with the uh, luminal discrepancy that one artery is small, one artery is big, then taking these uh, stitches 6 o'clock at 12 o'clock is very helpful. So in the uh, basically interrupter technique, you take all the sutures that we have discussed in this uh, in the, the subsequent part of this video uh, on the PTFE graph. Yeah, that you begin with the interrupter sutures on the posterior wall. Take full thickness, equidistant wide. Each wide should be approximately two mm from the edge with the equal spacing to maintain luminal diameter. And all the knots in the vascular anastomosis has to be outside the luma. So in a similar manner, once the posterior wall is complete, uh, you can uh, you continue with the interrupter suture, the anterior wall safe, simple technique, easy to follow, versatile technique. At the end also, you release the clamps, flush the lumen with the heparinized line to remove all the debris and clots. And if you're contemplating any vascular anastomosis, always try to use some kind of magnification. The loops are usually recommended. And uh, interrupter suture gives you the flexibility to correct mistakes without compromising the whole anastomosis. You will understand better while I'll demonstrate in the hands-on video in the uh, subsequent part. Take these stay sutures. They are your best friends, best guides and check for the bleeding points before completing the anastomosis. So with that brief theoretical background and steps, now we will start with the PTFE graph demo that will be interrupted arterial anastomosis on PTFE graft. So uh, my dear friends, trainees and buddy surgeons, so briefly I'll discuss what are the basic vascular surgery requirements, basic requirement and setup for the vascular anastomosis, what are the instrument one should have or one should buy or uh, arrange in a setup. Uh, I hope all of you have watched our previous series on the basic and advanced suturing course. So this will be further add on on the uh, that uh, suturing course. So friends, uh, first recommendation to all of you is that you should arrange these kind of uh, leftover PTFE graft. You can easily get it from your uh, CTBS colleagues and you should always practice, practice and again practice 
before you finally do the RTL and stenosis in your patients to have a good outcome. So the first instrument you should have is this gastro -bezo. We will be working with fine needles that will be 6070 or 50 at max. And one handy gastro -bezo, which you are accustomed how it get locked, how it works, should be there. This is my personal gastro -bezo. And gastro -bezo is a bit costly. Then you can also arrange. This is a rider. Uh, this is a needle holder for finer, uh, basically, uh, needles for 50 uh, up to 50 it works well uh, so castro bezo one good vascular forceps i am here using pot scissor which, which works equally good but you should have a good vascular forceps and good vascular forceps also these are fine uh, automatic vascular forceps and if you are working in uh, basically even smaller vessels then you will be need further micro instruments so uh, maximum size will be 50, uh, not below for the arterial anastomosis. So uh, maximum, minimum you can use 50 or 60 is better, but have you are comfortable for 70, you should be well versed. But in our setup, in our basically, uh, what uh, kind of anastomosis we'll do, 50, 60 will suffice. Again, this is my personal magnification loop, 3.5x. And you all, everyone, all of you should have your own magnification. These are TTL loops. This is my personal recommended. If you have not bought any uh, loop so far, so go for three or three point five TTL loops because your uh, eye power will be adjusted in the glass. And these are basically custom designed uh, with the interpupillary distance. So uh, all of you should have these basic instrument like uh, your. Uh, Castro Viso, your uh, rider, your uh, vascular forceps, and your magnification loop. Uh, with that, we have reached the end of uh, this video, friends. Uh, and uh, in this series, uh, the next video will be the, we will showcase arterial anastomosis with the artery flip technique. Again, uh, this is one technique which I learned from my one of my teacher, and this is a very handy technique in difficult situations. Uh, and what are the do's and don'ts, uh, why we should use it and uh, so we will discuss theoretical part and followed by the demonstration on the PTFE graft and all these videos demonstration will also we will try our best to showcase on the uh, basically uh, porcine artery and veins also. So stay tuned I hope I was able to add some new insight and these are some of the thumbnails uh, which we have already the videos which we have already uploaded and uh, do check them out and for a better learning experience to get an exclusive access to our premium high definition content you can download our app available for Android or iOS or you can join the channel membership the link for everything is given in the description of this video. So thank you very much stay tuned. Happy learning.